I'm Caddy Tekenye. I'm product author with the Map of Medicine. I provide help files, user assistance, and training materials, and today I'm going to give you an overview of localization. Localization for the Map of Medicine takes place in two ways. The first is by means of local administrative content added to particular nodes on pathways of interest. This is different to adding personal notes which are not shared with other users. For an example, would be to add the hours for the weight management clinic to the obesity pathway. This is easily done, as I'm showing you here. First, I select the pathway and the page, and then the node on the page. Here it says, provide dietary advice. So I open the quick info panel. I simply select the local admin info link and enter or paste the information into it. Thus, and click Save. It's now instantly available to everyone using this view. The second type of localization is clinical localization, which is more sophisticated and allows a local health community to edit, create, remove, or otherwise change their version of the map of medicine in order to support local service configurations, commissioning priorities, and clinical priorities. This might be done in an area that has a specific challenge they would like to address, for example, a very high rate of obesity. This type of localization begins with creation of a project team from the local health community. This team will include interested parties drawn from primary care, secondary care, and perhaps allied health, and certainly members of the clinical governance group. Typically, these groups will already be in existence where pathways are being created in local health communities. It's very important that at the first workshop, all key stakeholders in a care pathway are involved. And during one or more workshops, pathways and pages are edited or created as a team. This can be effectively done by working directly within the, work, uh, within the software during workshops. As you can see, as I'm working here, I first navigate through the map manager to find a pathway to edit. I open the map editor by selecting the edit link. After the map editor opens, I open the individual page that I want to edit. First, I open the cascading hierarchy. You'll see it resembles Map Manager. Click on the page that I want to open. This is one of the two types of localization in the Map Management Suite. This is localizing a pathway or page using materials that already exist in the map and adding changes or removing nodes or doing the essential decisions that have been made in the workshop. First, I select the nodes that, would like, that I would like to remove. As you can see, I can select Shift and click on numerous nodes, and then simply select Delete, and it removes them instantly. Once I've done that, I select this small tool here, which makes the connectors, and I go from node to node, making the connections to set this page up in its new layout. Then I click on the nodes themselves and change the type if I need to, or I add information via this side panel where I can either type the information in or I can cut and paste from other materials that I've already assembled. Within that little editor, I can also add web links that will connect this to other outside information, or I can upload PDF-based images or additional tables or what have you. Then when I'm done, I click Save. And once the save takes place, this is now available through the map management suite to colleagues who haven't been able to be present at the workshop, for example. Now, if I'd like to repurpose a specific node or nodes from this page to add to the second type of localization, which is a locally created page, I then just select them in the same way by holding down Shift and clicking on each node. Then I take the usual keyboard command, Alt-C, or I can use my drop-down lists and select from there. Then I move to the page that I freshly created and just take Control-V, drop them onto the page, and start the same process again, adding connectors, adding information, changing information as I need. Then I click Save. And as you see, as I show you here in the map management suite, there are my two pages, the one I've changed and my new one. Once the pathway has been created and it's been reviewed, 
and the comments of those reviews have been integrated, it needs local governance approval. That approval is given through the software in two separate unique online events, which become part of the permanent audit trail for the pathway. Once that final approval has been confirmed, the materials are given a final check for integrity by the publisher to ensure live, uh, live links and so forth. The release is published and the new view of the map is made available to the local community. Very simple process, easy to do, and it's splendid.